Don Cosgay. Thank you, Madam Speaker. <clears throat> From the onset, I support this motion on the consideration of the first supplementary estimates for the financial year 2024-2025. And I appreciate the chair and the committee uh, for bringing in a mitigative supplementary budget that is going to cushion our expenditure and uh, as we collect the revenues in this country to run the government. I wish to bring to the attention of the House uh, three things. Number one, especially um, budget cuts is supposed uh, to guide budgeting <clears throat> towards um, minimizing on non-essential areas and concentrate on very essential areas during this time of austerity measures. And I wish to, sub to join other speakers that even when we exercise that discretion of budget cuts, we should be sensitive to important areas that may not be allowed yet it is equally important. Madam Speaker, we have ministries that over time in various regimes in the past have never been considered essential. And that is ministries touching on uh, young people. We have had an experience with our younger people expressing themselves and it is time that when we consider our budget, we should increase in those areas. The Ministry of Sports, for example, and other ministry is the ministry that is got to do with the preservation of our identity as a nation, and that is dealing with culture. I happen to be a member of the departmental committee and we witness how much budget cuts was done on these ministries. And I think these are ministries that touches on essential areas in the management of our country. And therefore, I would wish to ask, to request that the budget committee reconsider some of the areas where the budget cuts has affected those activities that would have accommodated the needs amongst our young people. Number two, Madam Speaker, is a consideration of safety features in risk management in our own premises as parliament. I wish to again um, draw the attention of the budget committee that whether or not it is available in the PSC, I am one of those who consumes facilities that requires persons with disability to access important exit or um, entrances into this particular uh, building. And there are two areas in this building um, when we have students coming up here into the speaker's gallery, Madam Speaker, the area of entrance and exit is complicated. We would like to have attention by the budget committee to add in this supplementary budget because risk is an issue that can call for attention at any time. The other one is exit route, as discussed yesterday or the day before yesterday, which affected us, who are more dependent on um, assistive devices. It was totally impossible. Even if my brothers and sisters would have loved to carry us, you wouldn't have saved us and you would not have saved yourself. So very important 
is that as a matter of urgency, the budget committee should include that as a matter of urgency, that in the ongoing repairs, include also the services, whether putting up a lift or building a ram. Finally, Madam Speaker, I wish to appeal to our children, the Gen Cs. You realize I was in the, they call it the eye of the storm, or? <laughs> I wish to appeal to them as a father, as a grandparent, and as a leader in this country, that their voices have been heard. Their voices have been heard. Unless they listen to us from Parliament, we have listened to them. The ongoing strikes may no longer serve the purpose of passing the message. It will encourage hooliganism, it can encourage deaths, and it can encourage retardation in development and progress of our country. History, Madam Speaker, is awash with witnesses on alternatives that people have changed their governments. Some with good intention have brought down governments to zero, to start again, and by the time they are building their countries, it is about 50 years later, and those who brought, them, brought down the system will not be there to enjoy what it comes. It is important to appreciate that today in this country, we have gone through a great transformation from post-independent leadership to where we are. We have a very responsive system. We have a new a constitution that opens room. There was a time, Madam Speaker, that you would not even demonstrate in this country and go home safe. You can do it in Kenya. You can even abuse and insult any leader at your own will. You talk of things that cannot be accepted in a normal society. You can see how much freedom we have. And this is a product of those who came before us and were sensitive in the transformation of government management. I wish to use this opportunity as a person who is a um, consumer of disability assets that we cannot encourage the country to open up to civil uh, conflict, violence, which will maim, make others cripple, and we are doing all over again the same thing that others have done. Gen Zs, I wish to speak to you. You have the numbers. I am appealing to you. Prepare for the subsequent elections that are coming. Go and register so that during that time, translate your intention into votes that can change the direction of this country to the direction you want. That is the strength we have in this country. I, once again, as I end, Madam Speaker, I am appealing to them that they are our children, and we meant them, we meant well for them. We are us who educated them. We took them to school. We gave them the best. That is why they are able to argue. Can you listen to us for once? Stop the demonstration. With that, I support the motion. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you very much. Member for Kiamba, Honorable John Kawanjiko. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to contribute to this important debate that supports uh, the supplementary uh, estimates for this financial year because of unprecedented uh, 